equivalence tenosynovitis. Before that, you have to know the anatomy. At the back of your wrist, there's a group of tendons. All of these tendons, they will go through six tunnel, which is called dorsal extensor compartment. There's a six compartment at the back of your wrist. So, what is the equivalent? The equivalence uh, tenosynovitis is the disease of the first compartment. It involves two tendons, extensor polysis brevis and abductor polysis longus. So, either you have a swelling of the retinaculum or thickening of the tendon or swelling over the tendon. It's an extensor compartment disease. Occur in a middle-aged woman. Very frequent, I see a middle-aged woman. New mothers, probably due to the inaccurate breastfeeding position, which have to be re-educated. Golfers, racket sports, athletes like badminton, tennis can have this problem. Most of the time, there's no trauma or no injury over the wrist. And patient will tell you they have the swelling over the this part of the wrist very painful they cannot do the normal activity cannot do cookings sometimes drink coffee putting clothes putting button open the door driving car change gear is very difficult for them because this tendon is irritated and then when during the movement it will affect the gliding of the tendon so it's quite painful even though it's a small problem but it's very troublesome for the patient physician or doctor will do this test okay but it's quite painful pull and bend the thumb in this direction treatment rest from the specific activity, put spleen if necessary into rest the area, as I mentioned earlier. With resting, reduce the movement, reduce friction, and reduce swelling. Then we leave you back after two weeks. If no more pain, then you can slowly off the spica or splinting. Of course, regular medication, either oral or application, topical. And some of the patients, despite the treatment, rest, activity modification, splinting, and medication, still they have problem. The problem is not solved. The pain still bothering them. Then I will offer corticosteroid injection with the background knowledge that this steroid have a side effect. If the patient agree, then we will embark on the procedure. Of course, steroid injection is very powerful tool. It can help us a lot and help patient a lot. Or this condition may occur, but in my experience, it's about five to ten percent of them will have this problem. For a patient not responding to medication, not responding to splinting, steroid injection also still the same. Then you have to go for operation. How big is the scar as described by the photo? The photo is self-explanatory. So roughly 2 cm or 3 cm incision over the side of the wrist can be done under local anesthesia. No need to sleep, no need to put you on sleep and can be done by day case basis. Come morning and afternoon you can come back. And outcome is generally excellent. Complicated you have to know during the surgery normally we divide over the volar expect or lower part so what we do during the surgery have identify this nerve isolate it make sure it's not nerve and then we divide this tendon retinaculum then no more friction because you increase the volume of the compartment